today's video you guys i am going to be sharing my experience at the university of mississippi also known as old miss i'm gonna be sharing my black experience at that because when you go on youtube and you like search up old miss or like anything like it's no black people it's no black people like i remember when i was um Thinking about enrolling here, I was just, you know, like any other person going to YouTube looking for stuff. And I'm like, I don't see anything, anything like it was at least nobody that was black. So, I mean, I'm like, what? Like, so I'm making this video. Hopefully it'll help somebody and hopefully I give good insight on the school In this video i'm going to be listing my pros and cons about the school i'm starting off with the cons though because I, I like to get right into it but um also before i get into that just a little bit about me just in case like somebody's watching this and don't know me i am a sophomore at Ole miss i am majoring in communication science and disorders i'm on the track to be a speech therapist and before I forget, let me just give a quick rundown of how I even ended up going to this school. Because this school was not my first choice. My first choice was Tuskegee University. That is my that was my dream school. I want y'all to understand that I was hell bent on going to an HBCU. Literally. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. When based off my circumstances is the only reason that I am at Ole Miss, literally. I'm at Ole Miss off a of scholarship. By the grace of God, I'm able to go to school here for free. I don't pay for anything. I don't pay for food. I don't pay for housing. I don't pay for anything. Only thing that I'm just like paying for is like books and stuff. So like I can go here for free. I actually based like my scholarship that I'm on, I was able to go to school for free anywhere in the state of Mississippi. So, you know, college is expensive. And I just was like, you know what? I would be real dumb if I passed up this God-given opportunity to go to school for free. And State didn't have my major. I didn't want to go to Alcorn. Like, I, I wanted to go to HBCU, but, like, I didn't want to go to Alcorn. It's nothing out there. Like, I, I had, I, I wanted to be at a school where it's, like, things to do. Um, I wasn't going to Jackson State. That's too close to home for me. I wasn't going there. Um, uh, yeah, like Ole Miss was really like my only option based off that. So that's really why I ended up going to Ole Miss. Let me tell y'all, I cried. 
I cried right here in this bed. I cried right here in this bed. Well, yeah, this bed right here. I cried because I did not want to go to this school. I did not want to go to this school. I was like, I, like, I was thinking like, okay, let's be for real. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Ole Miss has a reputation. Let's just start there, okay? Ole Miss has a reputation. And I was like, man, I was crying to my mom. I was like, mom, I do not want to go here. I don't want to go here. Like, I did not want to go here at all. I'm looking at the percentages of black people. I'm like, man, I do not want to go there. I've had my eyes set on the HBCU for the longest. Huh. Yeah. I was just like, man, uh, I did not want to go here. This was not my first choice. So, yeah, that's, that's that. This was not my first choice. I'm going to be using the term black and white because, like, that's what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, I'm going to use the term. I'm... I feel like this video might get a little uncomfortable, but it's like it's not disrespectful toward anybody. Like, I'm just strictly, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. And I'm speaking from a perspective that some people just don't see and they may not understand. So, please don't take it to offense. Everybody, of course, on the campus is not like this. So, I'm just speaking you know i'm just speaking from the heart and i'm coming from a good place and god please guide my words because i'm not trying to offend nobody okay. so with all that um actually i'm glad to say that i'll go here i'm actually happy like it really took me going to like going to the school and like being a student to just like recognize like okay like this is a nice school i'm gonna tell and i'm gonna be a job i'm gonna tell y'all I, I love my school I love my school. I'm just being, I'm, but I'm being honest. From the jump, I was like, no, I'm not going to go there. I don't know. I'm going to go to no Ole Miss. Nah. But I'm going to be real. Okay. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm going to be real because these cons are cons and these pros are pros. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. So the first con I want to talk about is like personal space and like sidewalk situations like i said this is a little nitpicky thing it's not real big but it's something that you need to be aware of because i was not aware like when, like when i first came to Miss, i was just stunned at how when i'm walking on like a sidewalk or walking the class how white people would just literally bump into me walking and and it's like and i'd be sitting there like did you not do you not see me walking like it'll be like It'll be like, I, and I'm telling y'all, it sounds so, like, when I say it out loud, it sounds like I'm being, like, crazy, but I'm not crazy. I can assure you that it's other black people that feel the same exact way when I say, like, they do not understand personal space. Like, in the Starbucks line, they'll be, like, right there on you. And, like, I've come to realize, I think that's just how they are. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's nothing personal, but I just think it's, like, just, it's just how they are. Um, but definitely, like, on the sidewalks, y'all, I'm getting uncomfortable, because, like, it sounds crazy when I say it out loud, but, like, I'm so serious, like, they will bump into you, and I, I would get mad, I would have to pray about it, and be like, you know what, Lord, like, like, it, and it's, and it's crazy, I'm not, and it's like, it's just something you have to experience for yourself, because it happens so much, like, y'all, I would be walking to class, and, like, be on the sidewalk and stuff and they would just like run into me like their shoulder like their backpack and like run into me don't say excuse me they don't say excuse me that and like and it happened and it happened so much to the point i start thinking to myself i'm like okay maybe maybe it's just like maybe they just don't see how this rude <laughs> you know how like other cultures like see things as rude like for example like you know like for example like when you walk into a black person has like you're expected to speak to everybody because if you don't speak that's considered rude. like it's just certain things like that like they don't say excuse me on the sidewalk they will not say excuse me and it's it, it, don't get me wrong not all of them but like some of them will be like oh i'm sorry but like i could be standing at the chick-fil-a line and they would just run into me and i'm just like you see me standing here why are you running into me like it's just stuff like that and honestly i've seen them do it to each other so I'm like, okay, maybe like, maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. I consider it rude for you to like run into me and like not say excuse me. Or like if we walk it on the sidewalk, like I treat the sidewalk like a road. I'm on the right side, right? I'm on the right side. And it's like, they don't get out the way. Like they just don't get out the way. And it's just like, man. And it's just like little stuff like that. I'm like, okay. 
And I, and I will be honest with y'all. I have said something one time and I felt bad when I said something. But I have said, like, excuse you, but I'm not very confrontational. But, like, I just got so fed up. Like, Jesus, let me tell you. Like I said, that's kind of nitpicky, but it's something that I've noticed. And other black people have noticed that they don't understand personal spaces sometimes. And, yeah, I just kind of had... I, I just kind of have to get used to it, you know? I just try to take it to heart, so. But that's just something, like, if you go to the PWI, like, that's just something to be aware of. I feel like that's, like, anywhere. But, like, at all Miss, that is just something that really bothers me. But, like I said, it's kind of nitpicky, but, yeah, just be aware Another of it. Another con I want to talk about is the hair situation. So, when I use community washers and dryers, yeah... Why people here kind of be like all over my clothes? I personally, to me, like it doesn't bother me that much, but I know like some people like some people don't like it. So that's something to think about. The, the hair be everywhere. I personally like I don't really care. I just like get my lint roll and I just like roll it all. I don't really too much care. But like some people don't care. Like some people care about that. Like when you're going to like community showers, it's hair everywhere, everywhere, like everywhere. Um, yeah, so I'm not to get used to that, but honestly, I didn't have, I didn't have any, like, I just noticed it, but honestly, for, like, me personally, I, I didn't really care. The lack of black people in classes. Yeah, this, this is, all Miss is still a PWY, all right? You're gonna go to class, it's gonna probably be, like, four of y'all in there. <laughs> so, just be ready for that, but, yeah. If you're if you're used to like an environment where you're not the minority and you're used to just seeing people that look like like yeah get ready because when you go to class it's, it's gonna be like four of y'all and <laughs> and every time I'm going to class it's and it's crazy because like every time I'm like we go to class like you know I try to spot out the black people I'm like okay where they at and like we will literally scatter like throughout the class and I'm like okay. <laughs> All right, you know, I, I had to get used to that. I had to adjust to that because honestly, it can be kind of like nerve wracking because it's like, man, like, so like, like I've had one class, it was just two of us, you know, and, and it's kind of, it's kind of like, it, it, it can be intimidating. It can be intimidating. So yeah, just be aware that when you go to class, it's not going to be that many black people. They don't have many black professors. My freshman year, I had one black professor, and I absolutely loved him. He was my math professor. Hated his class, but I loved the professor. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's not that many. It's 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 not that many. You, you know, it's still a PWI at the end of the day, so you're gonna have to just you know, you have to just suck it up. So, you know, it is what it is. And also, on a side note, it gets real uncomfortable. Like when I'm in a class. And it's, like, probably, like, a handful of black people and dudes are talking about, like, racial injustice, police brutality, um, just, like, stuff like that. that oh, Jesus. It gets real awkward. <laughs> it gets awkward. It gets so awkward. Especially at, like, 9 o'clock in the morning. Like, I remember I had a 9 o'clock class, and it was on power dynamics. Like, it was something. It was, so, it was something, like, a writing class based around power power and privilege it was a power and privilege class and oh my gosh i can't tell you how many times i like the class was like at nine o'clock i was actually the only black girl in the class y'all when we got to talking about like racial injustice and stuff like that first of all it's nine o'clock in the morning i don't i don't i honestly like i hope this doesn't sound bad but like right now honey i don't feel like speaking for the black community it's nine o'clock in the morning like it's just so stuff and then they're looking at you like, trying to see what you finna say. Hey, I, listen. Okay, look. I'm trying to get them out of here. Let's, let's, let's be a hundred. Like, I'm not trying. But, I, but don't get me wrong. Sometimes I would say things. You know, I would say. But it's like, dad used to be so overwhelming. Like, I used to tell my mama. I'd be like, mama, I feel like the black community is on my shoulders in this class. It's like, stuff like that. And, like, they be just looking at you. Because they don't know what to say. And it's like. All right, it's like that awkward silence. My fourth cut is again. It is a PWI, you guys. It's black at all. Speaking for all Miss, it's black people at all Miss. People think that it's not black people there. It is literally black people here, and we have black functions. We get to get like you know what I'm saying. But listen, it's still a PWI. It's not an HBCU. So what I would like to say is yes, we have black people, but the black people at all Miss get very clicky. 
Cause like again, it's we're outnumbered. It's not that many of us. Like it's a okay. When I it's hard to explain, but like it's not an HBC. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like we we get clicky. We get clicky, and yeah, it can get messy very fast. Um, Cause like it's a lot of us, but it's not. You know, it can get clicky. Yeah, it it kind of gets like that, but not all the time. Like it can get like that. You know, you just got you just gotta find your tribe. I found my tribe, thank God. But, you know, I just pick up on it. Also, I would like to say that the black people at Ole Miss, like, when I was a freshman, y'all, I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be straight up. Like, when I was a freshman, like, I used to try to, like, talk to black girls, you know, black boys, like, try to, like, mingle and stuff. They can be kind of rude. Listen, I'm very friendly. I'm very friendly. And I would, like, talk to people, and I'd be like, hey. Or, like, I'll see them at, like, a little function, and then I'll, like, see them again somewhere else. And they just be, like, looking at me. I don't know, child. I I guess, because, like, I'm from the South, so, like, if I know you, I'm going to speak. You know? If I know you, I'm going to speak. Sometimes they don't be want to speak. Not all of them, but, like, some of them be kind of mean. And I just, I, Child, but listen, I be happy because I just feel like God protecting me for people I don't need to be around anyways. But yeah, some of them can be a little mean, but then some of them are like real sweet. But it's just, you gonna have them bougie ones. That's, that's the word. Like, you gonna have them bougie ones. Even the boys be bougie sometimes. It's like, okay, be just, real. Put yourself out there. Take the risk because not everybody gonna like you. And then some people are gonna like you. You know, it's just one of them things. But I, I, I will say, you would think, but I, you would think. Oh, it's that PWI, you know, like, let me get close with the black people on campus. Child, sometimes they don't care. <laughs> they don't I think care. this is my fifth cut. The fifth cut is, like, it's not that many black spaces. I mean, it's some, but it's not, like, just a lot. But the ones that are there, are, when I went to them, everybody was so sweet, nice, you know, like, they would, like, do little things. So, like, I feel like it's more, like, it's not a lot of black spaces, but the quality of the black spaces that we do have is really nice. And every every space that I've been to, everybody was so nice and I felt welcome. And I've made friends from going to some of the events. So I feel like, you know, even though it's not that many black spaces, like the black spaces that are on campus, like they're they're nice. And I highly, I highly, I highly encourage people to go like go to them and like like mingle with them. The ones that come to my mind is BSU, the Black Student Union. Um, it's another one. I forgot the name of it. It's like a, it's like a black girl. It's like, it's, it's targeted toward like black girls. It's something. I forgot. Listen, I'm a, I'm a find it and I'm a put them in the description box so y'all can like just go look. But it's spaces there, and then it's another one. I think it's NAACP. I think that's what it's called. I know NAACP is like a, a it's like an actual organization. It's some, but look, I'm gonna put them down below. But like, they were so sweet. They would do things, and I just yeah, I would go and I feel like comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So and, and you can meet people, cause like, and I would go to those things like by myself too. Like I would go by myself, and I would like meet people. You know, they be friendly, and that's how you like know faces. Like you start to learn faces, you know, and stuff like that. So that was real good. I saw the D nines. They would like hold stuff, and they would like do things for the campus. So like I remember, I went to um, I met some people. I met. I met some friends. I would Delta had like a Delta week and like they had like trap paint in and stuff like that. And I made some friends there. Like it's like a lot of the things that they be doing. So like it's not much, but it, the quality of them is real nice. And I really, really like enjoy them. And uh, a lot of them places that I went to, like I made friends there. So I highly recommend it. Sounds oh. like that's like pro. It doesn't sound like a con. I guess the con side of it is that it's not a lot to choose from, but. It's still something. It's something. My next con is, again, you guys, this is still a PWI. They be saying some questionable things at them football games. <laughs> they be saying some questionable little political. They be saying, like, little political chants at the football games. And, you know, when you hear it, you, you be like, what did they just say? And it's like, yo, yeah, they just had, like, they would be like, saying like elf joe biden they say that or they be like elf brandon that means something i don't know what that means but it means something i don't know but it's yeah it'd be moments like that the football games where i'd be like okay 
All right. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's not really like race related, but another kind. If you come and tell me, listen, know how to drive in a roundabout. I did not know how to drive in a roundabout when I came here, girl. I was so confused. And the Oxford drivers, they mean, y'all. They are mean. Like, they gonna hunt at you like they mean and they drive fast. And if you don't know where you going, it sucks for you because they coming up on your tail. Like, they are very aggressive. I'm not the best driver. And I'm, yeah, listen, know how to drive in a roundabout. I'm, okay, the school is in Mississippi. Mississippi in the South. If you're not from Mississippi, like, if you coming from somewhere like up north, Listen, it get real hot and muggy here. It get hot. So if you, like, if you're not used to that type of weather, listen, get used to it if you're coming down here because it gets real hot. It get real muggy. It get real humid. Like, this, dip, if this heat down here, like, I can't tell you how many times I would be mad walking to class because it's so hot outside. It, it don't start cooling down until, like, Late September, it be hot. So if you're not used to that type of weather and you coming down here, like, get ready for Last it. Last con is that this campus is an open campus. That may not be a con to some of y'all. But if, you know, it's a it it's open campus. When I, now, listen, like I said, it may not be a con to some of y'all, but, like, it's open. So, like, people do be coming on campus and promoting stuff. One of the main promotions that I always, just that just sticks out to me is the religious people that come protesting telling everybody that they going to hell listen i can't tell you how many times i have walked the class and it's these men with these big old signs chanting like just saying all type of like stuff like yeah that and like i said it's open so like anybody come on campus so like you know that's just something, you know, I just, honestly, I just turn my music up and I keep walking, but, you know, just, just be ready for stuff like that, you know, because we is on the, we is on the, ain't with the church built, religion built, something, you know, so they be coming, child, they be coming down here, they be, they be chanting and they be like, oh, y'all want to hear, like, like, you know, they, they be coming, so just, just be ready. Okay, so, now that we got all the cuts out the way. Let's get into these pros because honestly, I feel like it all missed the good definitely outweighs the bad. My first pro is you get to interact with different people. You know, so I'm like, I'm getting to like interact with just people that look different than me. You know what I'm saying? I get to, and it's real good, especially like in the business world, like networking, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's people at school that I've like, made friends with and like I would look at them and I would be and like if I was to just look at them I'd be like oh I can see myself being friends with them and friends with them people like I said y'all it's so it's so many people on campus and I really feel like that is very I'm real thankful for Ole Miss you know that I'm able to like interact with different people you know what I'm saying don't get me wrong being at the HBC you surrounded by black people like I would love that I would have loved that you know what I'm saying but I just gotta look at different perspectives of things you know I just I try to look on the bright side of everything, and I feel like that is a con, a, not a con, a pro to be able to just, like, interact with different people every day and, you know, it network. I think that's real good. My second pro is Ole Miss has so many resources. Like, I want to go to the school, too. Like, I mean, I was looking at that, like, I want to go to school that has things. You know what I'm saying? Not just, like, attractions and entertainment, like, the school, like, a school that actually can help me and can you like have resources Ole Miss has so many resources y'all my second pro is that Ole Miss is the campus is very modern it's very nice it stays here to do you know what I'm saying like it's it's resources here that I can use as a student Ole Miss has a gym on campus now they got a gym they got like three cafeterias a writing center the writing center yeah listen I that writing center is the truth I'm not lying to y'all um, they got tutoring. The campus is safe. The campus is, the campus is safe. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I would just walk around. Well, not just walk around. Like, I remember when I was in, like, my freshman dorm. Like, I used to just, like, walk across the campus to go to Papa John's. Like, I felt safe. My friends tell me I shouldn't do it, which I understand. But, like, I felt safe on campus. Like, campus is safe to me. Um... Tailgating and football games is an experience that I feel like every Ole Miss student should experience. Like, even if you don't like football, just go tailgating. Like, that is an experience. 
that has a special place in my heart and I really love it and I've always enjoyed it every time I went. Um, we have um our own campus clinic and pharmacy. Listen, that came through for me, especially because like I had to like have medicine and stuff. Like I can just go on campus and just go pick up my medicine and the fact that they had a clinic. Girl, they had treated me for tonsillitis. They like legit. You know what I'm saying? That was nice. And then they got and like they got STD testing, like they got all type of stuff like that. So you know. And it's on campus. Um, then they got also we got shuttle buses that will like drive you to the square and stuff. Like, you know, you don't gotta like I have a car, thank God. But like it's easy to get around. Like they got them little buses and girl, they free. Um, we have pods. They're basically like they're like these little like stores. We can like go get snacks and stuff. Now listen, I'm a, like I said, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. Them pies be a hit and miss. Um, sometimes don't be nothing up in there because like like I said, it's on campus, so like sometimes they be empty. And yeah, <laughs> so it's you know it it depends on your luck that day because there's been times where I be like, oh, I want to get a snack, and I like go to the pie, girl. It be nothing. It be nothing up in there. Nothing. So, you know, it's just it's a hit or miss. Um, the pods that stay open for, like, real late at night, don't be the ones that don't be having nothing up in there. But, like, the pods that close during the daytime, like, oh, they gonna stay stocked. They gonna have everything you need up in there. But the ones that be open late, yeah. Tread lightly, because you, you might not get what you need. So, I'm just in y'all know. That we do have some of the D9. The ones that I can, like, really... The ones that I've really seen a lot of were, like, the fraternities, were cute dogs. Sigmas, ooh, I'm trying to make sure I name them right. Q Dogs, Sigmas. It was another one. I think Alphas. I think it was Alphas. Them the fraternities. Um, we don't have Kappas. I'm trying to think. I think them the main three fraternities. I think I could be wrong, but you can check on those sites. Um. Sororities, you got AKAs, you got Deltas, you got Sigma Gamma Rho, and AKAs, Deltas, Sigma Gamma Rho. It's enough. I think we got Zagos. I think. I'm not sure. I think we got Zagos. I think. I'm not sure. But I know for sure we got Sigma Gamma Rho, Deltas, and AKAs. I know for sure. We got deal. And I saw about the D9s, y'all. They be, they be having little things, too. That's another thing, like... It, they they do things for the campus, you know what I'm saying? I went to some of the Delta's things, and like, like I said, I made friends. They do little things. We got like this thing called Union Unplug, and they be having it on Thursdays at, I think, 12, 15 or 12 o'clock. Listen, and the only reason I know that because they be having Union Unplug on the days we have fried chicken. And y'all, I be wanting to get my fried chicken. So listen, I don't be at the Union Unplugs all the time because I be wanting my chicken. And it be just perfect because like everybody at the Union Unplugged. So the line for the chicken don't be long. Yeah. But they do be having another Union Unplugged. Y'all, they be strolling and stuff. They be playing our music. And yeah, it be a vibe. They be having a little line dance down there. It's a, it's a vibe, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, they be throwing that little stuff. They be doing their big ones. The next pro is that my school... My school, they promote diversity and they recognize and acknowledge backgrounds. And one of like they, they're they're not like oblivious. Ole Miss is not oblivious. They do promote diversity and encourage like stuff like that. Like even things like LGBTQIA plus. Had to say the whole, had to say the whole thing, cause I got a friend. They be like, don't forget the the other letters. But like, yeah, like <laughs> they they have all that stuff. Like they promote all that stuff. They be having like in the union little tables and stuff set out. Like you know, they do all that little stuff. Like they're not just oblivious. Like they promote diversity and they do little sweet things. Especially me, like as a black person, like it it makes me feel like I'm seen. Like I remember, um, Halloween was coming around, and like I remember I was walking i was coming back to my door from class and it was like a little pamphlet on my door and it was like going over like um culture appropriation because like halloween was coming up and it was like you know like educating like hey don't do stuff like that you know like it's things like that i think it's like real sweet <laughs> it's like oh like y'all see that <laughs> you know, it'd be so sweet it'd be so sweet y'all because they like they try my school tries it's not like they just 
ignore the past. Like, no, they actually try. And I want to make sure I really engrave that into y'all brains. Ole Miss tries. And I'm telling y'all, from the jump, like, when before I came here, I was like, oh, like, this school. Like, but no, they do. They, they try. And I really, really appreciate it as a student. I really do. Like, I'm not trying to be sentimental. Like, I really appreciate it. Because my school is not what people just think it is. Like, you have to go here to, like, really see, like, okay, like, this is what they about. This is what they doing to, like, make things different. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just want to put that out there. This, that is a pro, in my opinion. Another pro is, honey, we throw good parties. We, th we can throw a party and the square be live. Listen, this ain't school related, but I'm just being for real. Our school fun. My school is fun. We be having us a good little time. Black and white. Honey, we all be lit. And I just want to put that out there. Like, we be having us a, we be having us a ball. I mean, uh, right now, you may be throwing all the parties that I be going to that be like where all the black people be at. Either, and, you know, he be throwing just the parties and stuff. Girl, they be lit. I ain't gonna like, see y'all. That'd be fun. You know what I'm saying? It's that, 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 you know, that wretchedness that you know that you just craving. Because if you ain't that like me, girl, I like me a little. I love to have me a little wretched time. <laughs> love to have me a time. Honey, we be having us a time. And I was thinking when I came to school here, I'm like, man, it ain't gonna be like no parties like that here. <sighs> girl, I was full because we be having, we be having us a good time up there in Waterford. Because they don't throw the parties down here, child. We gonna have to go to Waterford, but it, it be a time. Then on the square, um, all the black people, we be going to Rock House. So if you new to the like, if you new to the area, you wanna know what's jumping on the square, girl, go to Rock House. Cause that's where they're gonna be throwing the parties at. That's where it's gonna be jumping. There's other things on the square too that you can go to, like tangos, um, roosters. I think that place is called roosters, I'm not sure. But I've been tangos. Tangos lit too now. Tangos be lit too. Um, you got the library, but honestly, I can't even get into the library because like I'm not 21, so Child, I don't even go to the library because I can't even get in. But the square is fun, y'all. The square be jumping too. I ain't gonna see y'all. Man, first time I went to the square, y'all, it was like it, it it felt like I was in New Orleans for a split second. Cause I'm just like, wow, like y'all outside for real. That was fun. Is that all Miss has nice dorms? Now listen, not all of them are nice. I ain't gonna be honest with you. Not all of them is nice. Um, I stayed in Hefley my freshman year. Hefley, I had a bar at Hefley. Let me tell y'all. And heavily, I, I was the only person in my room. I didn't have no roommate. So it was just me. But if I had a roommate, it would have been crowded up in that little room of mine. But I didn't have a roommate. So girl, I had me a time. And we we had community showers. But like, I'm not really hard to please. A lot of people would like turn their nose up at community showers. But I didn't mind my community showers, girl. I, I had my room to myself. Oh, I was having me. I was straight. Um, The best dorms on campus. Is gonna be RH one, RH two, and three. Um, lucky day, and it's another one. Burns, Pittman, and Minor. Doing the nice doors now. Martin and 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 what's that other one? Crosby. Don't recommend. I don't recommend. Mm -mm. I don't recommend going there. I had some friends that stayed in Crosby. They call it Krusty Crosby for a reason. So, you know, do what you want with that information. But it's, it's not the vibe. Now, the other ones, now, listen, I like Heffley. Heffley was nice, too. Heffley was, and had showers up. But, oh, and some of them girl, some of them dorms are co-ed. Martin and Crosby is an all-girls dorm. But, like, yeah. I just don't recommend them. But, but that's only two. That's only two dorms I don't recommend. The rest of them are nice. Like, they're, they're nice. But, like I said, I'm not hard to please with. The rest of them are nice. They're not. Campus, my next pro is that the campus is big, you guys. The campus is pretty big, but then again, it's not. Like, when I first got there, I was like, this campus is huge. I was lost. I'm like, this stuff. But now that I know the campus, the campus, honestly, is, like, very small to me now. Because, like, I've, I I know, I, like, know how to get around and stuff. Um, But a pro to the campus is that the, um... The buildings, like your main buildings that you're going to have classes at, are like all bunched together. So it's like, it's not like you're going to be walking from 10 bucks to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's everything is kind of like right there. Like, most of the buildings are like in the circle. Then you got Lamar. It's kind of like, Lamar's like, it's kind of off from the circle. But it's not, it's not like nothing too crazy. Like, you know, the, the, 
mostly everything is like around each other. The dorms that I feel like are kind of out the way is like Lamar, Turner Center, um, it's another one. Oh, and freaking Guyton. Guyton is like, that. I had a class there. Guyton is at the complete, like at the end of campus. And then it's like after you took that long walk, girl, you gotta go up these stairs. Oh, Lord have mercy. And I got like two classes there next semester. <laughs> I'm gonna be walking, I'm gonna be walking, yeah, I'm gonna be walking. But like if your dorm is kind of like off, then yeah, you're gonna be walking. But I I got lucky fresh meter, so I, I was straight. But yeah, it, it can be. Everything for the most part is close together, but some of them buildings, yeah, girl, you won't be walking, so, you know, set your alarm. Another pro is that, girl, like, the campus is so pretty. Like, oh, miss, my campus is very beautiful. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm not saying that just because I go there. Like, that's the truth. You got the grove. You got the circle. You just sit out there and study. It's, like, little hidden spots. Like, I know it's, like, a little spot, and, like, over there by the library, out the way. It's, like real aesthetically pleasing places to study in like it's always it's somewhere to study you got the union like the library like it's so many places you can just study and like meet up with friends like it'd be a vibe like i'm all about looks it'd be such a vibe to so just you know get my starbucks from the library and like get a little table outside and like do my little work and look and stuff like girl it'd be a vibe i'd be having me a time and i'd be out there studying so the campus is very pretty squirrels everywhere I don't like, yeah, like, them squirrels be everywhere, and they bold. They don't run up to you. I'm not lying. Them squirrels bold. But it be, like, real pretty and nice outside. So, I mean, if you into that type of stuff, like, it's real pretty. The campus is real pretty. Another pro, girl, I've never had any troubles with my financial aid, ever. I had no troubles with financial aid. Mm-mm. My financial aid, they be on point, okay? They be on point, which, I, like, they be on it. You know, I get my, I get my, I get my money and my refund and stuff like that. Like, girl, I love that organization. Like, I love how organized my school is. You know what I'm saying? It's organized. And I love it. Which brings me to my next and I think my last pro. Yes. Um, advisors. Girl, I love my advisors. And I like how everything, like, I love it. They be on it. They be on it, y'all. And that's so important going there, like, they be on it. I love my advisors. I got. I actually ended up getting a new advisor, but like it's just, yeah, like they actually like try to know you and get to hear you. Like it's just, I can't explain. It. Like, but it's like I can email my advisors. Oh, they gonna get back with me. They gonna help me. You know, they gonna tell me like, okay, well you can do this. Like they gonna give me alternatives. Like my advisors know I suck at math. They know, but they be trying to help me. Like, it's stuff like that. Like, I love my advisors. Like, they be on it. I love it about my school. Like, my school is so organized. Like I said, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. 110%. 110%. So, that pretty much wraps up everything. Listen, if I had to tell you what schools, I would definitely listen I, if I had to tell anybody, if they were thinking about going to Ole Miss, I would recommend it. I would. I would. And that's coming from a biased standpoint and just like a realistic standpoint. Like, I totally, I love my school. I love the friends I've made, the people I've met. I love my classes. I love some of my professors. Like, it's just a vibe and I love it. I love Ole Miss. Girl, it is hot. It's hot to I die. Like, I'm not lying to y'all. Like, this is my school and I'm gonna stand I'm gonna stick beside her. I'm gonna stick beside her. I am so you guys that pretty much wraps up this video I hope I help somebody I hope I shed some light on some things I hope that y'all can like you know I hope I was able to clear up assumptions about my school and just like really help people uh also if y'all have like anything like if anybody's watching this if anybody's just like really thinking about going here or just want to know if y'all need any type of advice or like insight please feel free to reach out to me like i want to help because i wish somebody was there to help me and like ease my mind because like girl i was in this bed crying i didn't want to go here but you know i'm so happy i did god really he was you know god really was like yeah you don't like it but you're gonna go here and i'm so 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 happy he's made a way for me to go here and like i said anybody like me any 
help somebody to talk to. If anybody on campus watching this and, you know, just need somebody to talk to, any, anybody, like, just reach out to me. I'm so open to, like, talking with people and just, you know, just being a good civilian. So just please reach out to me. And, yeah, I hope to see y'all in my next video. Bye.